so welcome back students uh, next topic is uh, angiosperms and as you know angiosperms are highly evolved uh, plants they are flowering plants and uh, seed of angiosperms enclosed inside a fruit in case of gymnosperm seeds were naked and uh, seeds were not enclosed in fruit but in case of angiosperms fruits are being formed and inside the fruit seeds are present okay so angiosperms as we know they are flowering plants obviously they are uh, seed plants flowering plants and they are highly evolved when we talk about evolution in case of animals or in case of plants when it comes to plants uh, and angiosperms are highly evolved uh, plants so they do possess flowers and these flowers are actually modified stem zoostera marina is the only marine angiosperm or the only angiosperm the zoostera marina is the only angiosperm which occurs in a sea water smallest seeds are present in orchids maximum number of chromosomes in angiosperms we see in case of ophioglossum in ophioglossum angiospermic plant the number of chromosome diploid diploid number of chromosome is 1266 xylem contains vessels and as you have seen in case of gymnosperms vessels are generally absent in case of gymnospermic plants but in case of angiosperms xylem tissue contains vessels or xylem vessels and phloem contains companion cells and sieve tubes Scandary growth occurs in angiospermic plants, and uh, especially in case of uh, the dicots, roots and stems of dicots. And flower, flower is as you know is a reproductive body of angiospermic plants, and uh, flower contains both male and female reproductive parts. So the male part. or the male reproductive structures collectively known as stamen contains two parts filament and anther part carpel is female reproductive part and it contains three uh, parts the stigma style and ovary collectively they are known as carpel and collectively filament and anther known as stamen so female is stigma style and ovary and this ovary contains ovules very important double fertilization is the distinct or characteristic feature of uh, angiosperm the meaning of double fertilization means uh, the two male gametes or two male gametes uh, they get fused with uh, an egg cell and two polar nuclei inside the female reproductive structure or in ovules here you can see these are two male gametes one male gamete gets fused with egg cell to form zygote and then uh, embryo and second male gamete uh, gets fused with polar two polar nuclei to form endosperm which, which is triploid means one two and three nucleus are there so there is triple fusion that is this the endosperm of angiosperm is triploid in nature and this endosperm actually provides nourishment to the growing embryo so and here you can see the life cycle uh, of angiosperms uh, alternation in generation in angiosperms as we have seen in gymnosperms bryophytes and tridophytes in case of uh, the angiosperms similarly Uh, the sporophytic phase is dominant phase in angiosperms and gametophytic phase is reduced and is dependent on sporophytic phase for nutrition and for a very small period of time this angiospermic sporophytic plant gives rise to flower which is a reproductive structure and modified stem this flower gives rise to 
gynosium and androsium gynosium is female part and androsium is male part or male reproductive part this gynosium or female reproductive part gives rise to the different structures which would help in uh, the reproduction or to form reproductive bodies is carpal carpal gives rise to ovary and uh, inside the ovary ovule is present and inside the ovule a uh, female gamete or egg is formed similarly androsium stamen is a collective term stamen gives rise to anther and in the anther microsporangium is formed a sac like structure where a uh, microspore mother cells or spores are formed male gametes are formed this ovule or inside this ovule megaspore mother cells are formed which are diploid and similarly in microsporangium case of male reproductive structure microsporangium here microspore mother cells are formed which are also diploid okay so names are different but the process the process is quite similar in both the cases male and female so both megaspore mother cell and microspore mother cell would undergo meiosis and definitely would uh, would enter in gametophytic phase so this megaspore mother cell or this uh, the female part or this female side now would become four megaspore this mmc this megaspore mother cell after meiotic division would form four megaspore which are haploid after meiotic division so out of this four three megaspores would degenerate and only one would remain functional okay three megaspore would degenerate and only one megaspore would be functional so it is only one functional megaspore but in case of microspore or in case of male four microspore are formed and all the four microspores are functional they would form male gametophyte male gametophyte and hence male gamete similarly functional megaspore then embryo sac and from embryo sac is female gamete male and female gamete they get fused the process of fertilization to form a zygote which is diploid this zygote would be uh, changed into embryo later on this embryo which is also diploid would form ovule within this embryo and then seed is formed and when uh, favorable conditions are given or to pro or provided to this seed the seed would germinate and uh, when the seed <coughs> germinates it changes into um, and uh, changes into mature angiospermic plant okay so if you want to know about uh, uh, the development of uh, megaspore and microspore and how these uh, uh, processes take place uh, you can see my lecture uh, given on reproduction in flowering plants my youtube channel so this is all about a life cycle it is this is sporophytic phase which is diploid and dominant phase and this is uh, uh, the gametophytic phase haploid and is uh, actually the recessive phase dependent on this sporophytic phase so it's all about angiosperms and uh, the life cycle of angiosperms some uh, more points are we have here we are having the most advanced family of flowering plants is composite family tallest angiosperm is a uh, eucalyptus australian eucalyptus and smallest angiosperm is lima so on the basis of uh, cotyledons cotyledons are actually a structure which provides nourishment to the growing embryo inside the seed so if only one cotyledon is present then those angiospermic plants are known as monocots and when two cotyledons are present then the, uh, those angiospermic plants are known as dicots okay so it's all about angiosperms and uh, the, in the next lecture we would begin with a new chapter is uh, known as uh, a kingdom animalia thank you